All right, welcome. Um, this is a video on how to use um, Git within um, within Cube IDE, which is an Eclipse variant. It's, it's part of it's Eclipse CDT. It's been modified by ST Extended, and so I want to show you um, my approach to using Git within um, within Eclipse. Um, I I don't know that um, that it is the most efficient way to do it. Um, th there's probably a better way to do it, but this is the way that I found will actually work um, given the, the ST tools um, and, and, and the way that they interact with uh, what's there for Eclipse. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's go over to QBIDE. The first thing you're going to need to do is, um, starting from a, a fresh, uh, fresh build of QBIDE, is to go and um, and get the plugin for uh, for something called eGit, which is the 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 Git uh, interface. It's gonna it's gonna bring in all of the things you need. Um, it'll give you a perspective um, that you can you can load. Okay, so you come up here to help and go to Eclipse Marketplace, and then if you search for eGit um, and then hit enter, and it'll find so eGit. So this is what you want. You'll install it. I've already got it installed. So just install this, um, and you'll be good to go. It'll do uh, you'll ask lots of questions, and and you can go follow through that process. Um, so once you've got that, um, you can come over here and you can open a perspective, and then one of those will be Git, and so um, you'll be able to uh, drop that into your to your toolbar here. So now you'll have you'll have that as well as um, as um, the C++ and debug that you've used, so and, and this MX device configuration tool um, perspectives, you'll have all of those perspectives. All right, so I'm going to cancel that. I've already got it set up here. All right, so so you've got this thing installed now. So uh, the other thing that that um, you should have at this point is um, is GitHub repository, and so let me bring up one here. I have a GitHub repository here, which I will show you. So I created a little GitHub repository that has a couple of um, a couple of test projects in it, just to show you what it's what it's like. These are ones I created on another machine. Imagine this is your teammate; they have created these repositories. These are actually, um, you know, they've got the the Cube IDE stuff. They're all they're they're proper Cube IDE projects already. Um, created from within Eclipse. So let's say we've already got these um, these projects, and you want to bring them into um, into Cube IDE so you can work on them, uh, contribute to them. So your teammates your teammate has initialized these things. Um, so uh, so this is one mode. And I realize there's another mode. There's a mode where you create the project and you want to add it to your to your repository. That's not this scenario. This scenario is they're already there. They're already in your repository. And you just want to start working on them. You want to bring them into your to your workspace. All right. So I'm going to come back over here to to uh, Cube IDE, e, and I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to say Window, and I'm going to say Show View, and Other, and then I'm going to get the Git repositories view, and it's going to drop a little window down here that's going to let me clone my repository. Okay. And that's really what I want. It's going to throw it on my local drive. It is not going to put it into your workspace. And I want to, you know, this is not, your repository is not going to be inside of your workspace. You're not going to, you know, use your repository as the workspace. The workspace is actually separate. And what we're going to do is once we get the uh, repository on our local drive, we've got a clone of it, what we're going to do is we're going to import the projects that are within that within that repository. So that's going to be our mode. We're going to import those into our workspace. All right. So, so the way we're going to do that here is we're going to go ahead and uh, come out here and we'll uh, we will get our uh, you know just like you would have cloned it. So I'm going to use the HTTPS and then I'm going to grab it and I'm going to now come here and if you look this you know it's got several buttons you can use and I'm going to say clone. And I'm going to put it into here. I've already done this earlier, so as I was preparing for this video, um, so I've got the name of my repository. I've got 
um, you, my username and password for, for Git. And I'm going to say next. And it's going to ask me some questions about the repository. I'm going to take the defaults. And I'm going to say finish. And so it will open that up. And so now I've got this repository here. Um, and so, all right, so I've got that. And so now, now the GitHub perspective will be aware of that repository. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say file, and I'm gonna say import, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna import an existing project into this workspace, all right? So I'm gonna say next, and then I'm going to go and I'm gonna browse for where it put those projects. Now, the default location where, where Git wants to store things is going to be in your home directory in a folder called Git, and then it's here's my repository, and then here are the two the two uh, projects that are part of that repository. So I'm going to select those, and so it's going to um, you know say that it's project. It's, it's got that, and then those projects are actually a dot project file that's within that directory that um, is created by Cubide. That's where again these were created from Cubide. Imagine your partner created these. They're on, they're on they're already on the uh, on GitHub, so uh, we'll go ahead and put those there. And so now I've got um, this test repository. It's open, so I can look at it. So let's say I could bring up the uh, the main file. Let's say that I make some change here. Um, you know, I'll just add something here. You know, inter interesting. <laughs> Can't type change. All right, so I've added something. I'll go ahead and save it. And you'll notice now this file has a little caret on it, and that, that means that it's changed. And so if I go over to the Git perspective now, and I select um, this repository, I'll see that these two things have changed. And so I'm going to go ahead and add those. And then I'll say uh, added interesting, inter. <laughs> Testing change. All right, and so now I can say commit push, and um, it did it. So I can close, and so now if I were to um, head on out there to the one I grab, and I were to refresh this, and I were to look at um, this last commit, um, you'd see that I made this interesting change here. Um, so it's, it's, so I'm now I'm linked. So I don't have to redo that now that that project is part of my workspace. And, and frankly, I think this is probably the, the, the most regular uh, part of, of interacting with repositories here. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to, um, let's say we've got the other scenario where um, I want to create a project here. I've, I've already created one. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project in my workspace here. I'm going to say file, new STM32 project. And I'm going to select it. Remember, you want to select it not for the CPU, but for the actual board we're using. It matters because there are some other things that are already pre-selected. Some design choices have already been made that have been done for the board that are not done for the base CPU. So I'm going to say L432. I'm going to select this. I'll grab that next. And I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it test to get C. So this last project here. So let's say I'm, I'm generating it. And then maybe my, my partners are going to clone it. So I'm going to say next. And I'll say finish. Say yes. And so it's building this project. It's doing its thing. All right. So now I've got this project. And so um, um, notice it doesn't have this little, it's got this little yellow, um, you know, cylinder, which, which says it's a Git repository. This is not that way. This is just sitting in my workspace folder. Um, and it is, um, it's not, um, it's, it's not actually in the repository. It's sitting in a totally different location. It's in that folder. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to close this, um, close this project. And I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I'm actually going to close Cube. Yeah, I exit. And I'm going to fire up my browser, my window 
Windows 11 thing here. And I'm gonna go to my workspace. So here's my workspace folder and here's that, that project. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna cut this. So I'm gonna control X. And then where I'm gonna put it is, I'm gonna go to my Git folder and I'm gonna go to my team repository and I'm gonna say control V. And I'm gonna put it right there, okay? And so I have, let's go back and make sure that it actually was effective here. I'm going to check my QBIDE folder workspace, and it's gone. All right, so that file is now gone from the workspace. I've added it to the, um, to the repository, but it's not actually in the repository right now. What it is is it is, um, it is, um, it's, it's just sitting there ready to be added, but ready to be staged. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut that down and I'll bring Q back up. It's coming up on a different window here and I'll move it over so we can see it here in just a second. All right, there it is. All right, so I don't have it yet. So I've got this um, test to get C. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete this from my workspace. Okay. All right, so now it's, it's gone from my workspace. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a file import, and I'm gonna import this existing project um, into the workspace. I'll say next, and it is, I'm gonna browse for it. And I'm gonna grab C, just like we did. Um, so now we're just going to do a finish. And now we're gonna bring it, now we've got it into our project here. I'm gonna go ahead and close, test to get A. And I'm going to close that project. And so now I've got test to get C. And so let's go in and make some um, change to it here. So source, main. Um, save it. And so Let's go um, over to the Git perspective here. And so here are, since that folder is actually not in the repo yet, and I should have I should have done this first, I should have come over to this perspective and gone ahead and added it to the repo. It's basically just files sitting there in the repo, unbeknownst to Git, it's not in the Git history yet. So let's go ahead and add it here. So I'll just add everything here. And I'll say, I'll call this initial commit. And it'll have that little change. And so let's go and do a commit push. And so it's doing it. And so we'll close that. And so if we come back to our, let's go to the top of our team repo. So now we've got test to, to get C. And it's got, you know, it'll have that source change that I made here. There it is, a little change. Let's, uh, um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and modify it again. So now if we come back to the C, C++ perspective, you'll see that what I'm looking at now has that little cylinder that says it's a, a managed Git repository. So I can go ahead and make my another little change. All right, so now you see that little carrot. So now, now I'm actually making a, a change that's in the, in the repo. I can uh, head over to here, and then I can, uh, you know, go ahead and add that change, and uh, um, you know, maybe it's fixed comment, and then commit and push, and uh, close. And so now, if I come back to my uh, browser window here, and I'll refresh this. So there's another little change. And if I were to go and look at my, you know, my commit history here, there's the, there's the change that I made. All right, so, so that's kind of the basics of, of uh, getting projects in and out of Eclipse uh, Cube IDE. It's Cube IDE, sorry, it's an Eclipse. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying calling Eclipse. It's Cube IDE, it's been mod it's a modified version of Eclipse. And so that's basically how you interact with it. Um, of course, you know, all the sort of richness of Git is available to you. It's, it's, a, it's a very um, um, well done project, in my opinion. Um, Git has, has been there for a, a quite a while and it's, it's widely used. And so 
it's relatively mature as, as plugins go. And so um, hopefully this will help you uh, get, up, get up and going and it will uh, um, allow you to uh, interact with the repository in a way that, that makes you more effective. All right, um, that's it for this video.